This is by us fashion design, uh, mixed media fashion design. Uh, we are uh, stitching a logo, uh, which is uh, a loose uh, part onto the next layer um, to keep it nice and sturdy. Where we're also using a chain um, uh, as a as an anchor type. It's a sterling silver chain, um, and everything else is vinyl. Uh, all handcrafted and braided to stitch as you can see um, you want to stitch as close as possible to the edge to give it a fine stitch um, my thread did pop uh, in this video I apologize guys but I was able to uh, refix it right away rethread excuse me So after uh, completing this process uh, right now, what you guys are getting ready to see is I'm going to give you guys a preview of, uh, excuse the scissors, another pink. It's not my uh, color of choice, but <laughs> hey, you got to work with what you have, right? Um, I'm going to give you guys a preview of what is expected, how it's going to look and all. And um, I hope you guys like and enjoy it and uh, stay tuned.
So at this point, I'm pointing out which way the uh, chain will go uh, across and then back over again. So I'm only going to stitch to where it's needed. And again, I'm going to back stitch to lock it and then forward stitch to ensure that uh, the stitching stays in place. And here I'm just finishing up the bottom part to meet uh, where it's just about a, a quarter of an inch of separation. Of course, you can stitch with uh, the chain on, so you got to kind of eyeball it and know when to stop and when to continue. Same process, uh, you want to reverse and uh, go forward to make a nice knot. Um, to keep the stitching intact. logo over and um, I'm gonna run the chain uh, through it and see what we got I'm gonna show you guys the stitching there it is um, beautiful stitching again you want to get as close as possible to the edge and uh, make sure you reverse uh, stitch and forward stitch and there you guys go two roses going on a lady's handbag stay tuned 